Welcome back to Golden Rule Radio. This is Christmas week, and don't you feel like Christmas should always fall on a Wednesday in the middle of the work week so we'd get the whole week off? Because if it falls on a Saturday or a Sunday or a Monday or a Friday, it just doesn't seem like that great of a holiday when the market's open the very next day. So we'll be here the day after Christmas because the markets are open. Yeah, you do almost sort of feel cheated. You know, I don't mind having a long weekend, obviously, but having to come in the day after Christmas does sort of feel like you're taken away from that family time. So we all should just go and become teachers, right? Because teachers know how to actually function in the marketplace. And so you've got all these economics professors who teach all these things and say that they know everything and they can put all their models and and do all their tests. But when it really comes down to it, I think the markets are controlled by human behavior, wouldn't you say so? And some maybe algorithms? Sure. Well, I'd say speaking of the highly educated Harvard professors that run our country, uh, they did decide to raise the Fed funds rate a quarter of a point last week. So that is our third jump up this year. Generally, you would expect to see the U.S. dollar climb a little bit when that Fed funds rate comes up because that does make the treasuries a little bit more uh, productive, a little bit more exciting. But what did it do? No, in fact, the dollar did just about nothing. In fact, I would argue it's continued and, and could be pushing back towards our water slide. So ultimately, they made the dollar more attractive, and yet fewer and fewer people are interested. If you compare it to last December, when they raised the rate again, it jumped a little bit, and then it kind of peaked, wouldn't you say? It peaked at 103, and then the whole year, we've been pretty much on a water slide down to the 90-something level, low 90s. Right. So we're back down to about 10% down for the year. Uh, And we did have here in the last couple months, we have what we call a Quasimodo head and shoulders pattern, uh, which we'll draw on the charts here. So we may not see, you know, we've been calling for a rise up to around the 95, 96 level. We may not see that. Yeah, I think the dollar will decline uh, ultimately or even in the next few weeks and pushing the euro higher and all those other uh, dollar pairs higher. So with the dollar evaporating about 10% last year, we obviously can look at gold and make the assumption that we're up 10% this year. Lo and behold, we are. We are into that resistance level we discussed last week. We're still holding our breath, seeing if we do see a 12-12 push down. I think that's going to offer certainly the best entry point we'll have this year, uh, either end of this year, beginning of next year. Uh, As we talked about in last week's show, it does look like December, January for the last two and probably this third year in a row now is going to be your best opportunity in the metals. Silver's severe decline stopped just above the previous low from July. And I think that's a positive sign. And now silver's back over 16. Platinum, of course, fell off the table uh, and then bounced pretty hard, came right into a support level we've had for a while. It's up pretty substantially just over the last week. I think that we could be seeing $1,000 platinum again here in the next month or so. If you're new to platinum and palladium, we've been talking about it on this show this year, and we'll continue to talk about it because I think right now platinum is a big opportunity as well as the gold, as well as silver. If you look at the last two years, as we said in the last couple of weeks, this has been the time where you want to be buying because it's been the bottom and then come right into the first of the year, the first quarter of the year, the last couple of years have been really strong for the metals. So this is your opportunity. Yeah, that's right, Robert. And the reason platinum is such a strong opportunity is because of how well palladium has actually done over the last two years. The idea of playing relative strengths and weaknesses against each other in these markets is how you increase your position over time. And that's something that we've been doing for a number of decades here at ICA. Yes, that's true. And and that strategy is best used in IRAs. And I think we'll do a show maybe specifically on IRAs at some point. And so we'll be looking for that IRA specific show because those strategies that we talk about a lot on here are well designed for trading within your IRA. Yeah. Anytime you can take gains tax-free and using a tax-free vehicle like IRAs to take advantage of some of these swap ratios we try to do with our clients in their metals positions, obviously is a bonus because you get to keep all the profits. We have other strategies that make a lot more sense when you're outside the IRA. And so I would invite you to call us if you want to invest in your IRA or outside your IRA IRA and metals, because there are different strategies that we employ for clients in 
side and outside IRAs. So we're about to close out our first year of Golden Rule Radio. So we just wanted to say a big thank you to all of you out there in YouTube land who've been listening for the last year. We've had a great time so far doing it. Uh, We've really enjoyed the questions, really enjoyed talking to some of you guys on the phone and really enjoyed interacting in the comments. So we just want to say a big, big thank you. Uh, This isn't our last show of the year, uh, but we're very, very close to it. So from Tori, Robert, and Miles, again, thank you all so much for joining us this year with Golden Rule Radio. We look forward to next year and all the years to come to continue bringing you the charts, analysis, information that we try to. If you liked what you heard, subscribe to us at the bottom left of this video on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter at ICA Gold. Join the conversation in the comments or call us at 800-525-9556. So Merry Christmas to all. Have a wonderful time with your families and we'll see you next week.